Ich bin Ich bin Ich bin Ich 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 Beide all day, so all freaks, so all freaks Andy, noch man. here. Can I get a game for hearts? Can I get a game for open goal? <laughs> oh, you know, I appreciate that. Maybe no, maybe no. And I've made a jacket, you see? I mean, I like that. That's a woman's. 16 quid in a charity shop. And That's buy a woman's. Road, it's not a woman's, that is it? Is, because I've... Did your eyes light up seeing that? Uh-huh. And then I got a leather jacket in another charity shop for 15 quid. I'd love to see that leather jacket. Genuine leather. Aye. <laughs> look at the... Look at the big boy. <laughs> Chris you Kevin like Kyle Christmas edition, huh? <laughs> God, you know, you look like Charlie for the, the taxi driver of EastEnders. Remember Mo's dad? Remember Big Charlie? <laughs> 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 he used to wear that, like, didn't he? Ah, oh, fuck it, Charlie. You're a bit uh, like Mo as well. We Mo. <laughs> Never looked Trevor, didn't he, huh? Trevor! No, that's that's young, that's oh, young. Oh, no, they were like older. <laughs> <laughs> EastEnders, it's been down hell though, right enough. Ah, you, again, the, 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 the modern day, they don't see it, don't you know? No, no. Need Trevor back. Get Trevor on a hydro, <laughs> naked. <laughs> Trevor and Avery. <laughs> they say uh, the taxi's back. Aye. Oh, funny you see that? I picked my fucking cousin up Saturday night. Back. No way. <laughs> Who did you pick the sl- one of the slaves' pick, cousins? I picked up a I've never heard of this. Uh, it was my mad side. Uh, what is it, a boy? Uh, uh, so, uh, I'm in that. Natalie, aye. Right, and talk us through it. Got your how, did you get onto the, how did you get on the subject of being his cousin? I jumped in the car. She knew who okay. Are you and her in the back seat? Got it then. No, I got it then through and I thought, <laughs> I can't treat a wee jaunty then through. It's quite busy, I'll get the way. And uh, we're driving five minutes. Go to rap that fucking guitar <laughs> for two minutes. Sorry. I, I, I know you who you are. You're Kevin on the, on the podcast. I went, aye. Oh, I'm uh, Paul's cousin. And I thought, fucking hell, I've got to go to the end through. I'm leaving past fucking Buchanan bus station. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she just said, get it. Half a minute, I shouldn't have got her out. She was really nice. She was really nice. Uh, she was on an odd day. She was at half ten, up the road for half ten, twelve hours. Well, she started drinking at half ten? Started drinking at half in ten. In Renfrew? No, in Glasgow. All oh, right. And then that was her good game at half ten. Imagine that if I said in Renfrew, half ten start. Twelve hours shift. Decent. How is it? See, see the, at this time of year, is it brutal? Oh, it's mobbed. Is it? Brutal, mate. He's making a fortune, man. Is he? Really mate, busy. I'm telling you now, right? See, ta- Uber's about Christmas. He'll be making more than Scottish, some Scottish Premier League football players. I guarantee you. Uh, Do you make that much, mate? Uh, well, I might say too much. Tax ta- <laughs> <laughs> 12 grand a year, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm probably one of the only ones that actually does a tax return. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uber's all digital, so you can't you 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 cheat, uh, you cheat the system. Um, so did you before? No, I never did. No, good. Never, never did. Because I had a couple of late properties, I've always had to do a tax return. So uh, right. Three weeks before, three weeks of day till Christmas. I know. Fly, fly in, is the tree up? Tree's up. I've got my tree is looking tremendous. I saw yours on Snapchat Mate, last night. I came down this morning, it was bench pressing, man. See the fucking size of <laughs> it? Mate, some <laughs> guy, he's not going go find Kevin Bile and his wee boy Joe, he just texts me saying, you want, we've got a spare tree, he's got a tree business. Do you want it? I was like, I have fucking bring it up. Came up yesterday, mate, put the full thing up. Incredible, man. Is that a real, a a real, real tree? tree, mate? Uh-huh. Smell like the smell of a real tree. Can I get you the smell of shite from my house, mate? <laughs> Can I get The smell's not came through yet. What's your tree like? Mine is, uh, mine is massive. Mine is like eight foot or something. Huge. Really good Mine's tree. Mine's tiny. You've got four trees, actually. <laughs> You've got four trees. Four trees? I one in the living room, one in the kitchen, and one in each of the boys' rooms. Your boys have got trees in their rooms? Aye, cool, aye. Keep jagging their arses on the branches, don't they? Keep jagging their arses on the branches. Wee tiny one, No, no, they've got a, one, the two that share the room's got a six, six footer. And Harry's got a wee two footer. Aye. What, in the room? Aye, they're basically aye, it's, a, it's a common thing, I think. Aye. What, a Christmas like tree in your room? Like what, a real the, tree, like, see the wee tiny ones with aye, the, a, we, like the lights going? Like chopping the windows and that, and a wee bit of tinsel around the thing. Never. Never nah. heard of it? No, real, it's not a real tree, it's like a, a wee, the wee ones you're talking aye, about. Aye, it's just a wee His boys are missing it, clearly. Are you doing the elf on the shelf? Oh my god. Fucking pain in the ass, that mate. Oh my god, man. I swear to god, I said Especially when you're steaming, you totally forget, and then you're just... What is it? up. So you need to, the elves need to do something naughty every night. So the way uh-huh. to think it's real. So she's phoned me this morning and says, see when you're home early today, don't go straight for the boys, go and get the house first. And Tom's left the elf on the shelf, a candy cane for him to eat. So you need to yeah. fucking eat it. So I had to get him and eat a candy cane and pretend the fucking elves eat it. Uh-huh. I mean, I've lost some nuns in all your life. Yeah. Big question, right? What was Stokesy like in the Christmas period? <laughs> <laughs> Stokesy? What's that? Was, was, missed- he, was he good or bad in the, during Christmas, Stokesy? Stokesy. Anthony Stokes. What about him? 
Did you not see the thing somebody put up? No. So last, last week you said he was brilliant when he came to Sunderland and some guy, mate, I don't know how he's done it, went to a podcast about, what was it, three years ago? The Higgins, John Higgins. Oh, John, John Higgins, John. And you said that Stokes he came, he was hopeless. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I want to see that guy that's done that. What a life he's living. Mate, what makes you, think, what makes you do that? That's just like, oh, that's sad, isn't it? But then supposedly he wasn't there at all, but he was. He definitely was there on trial, so that was when he was there. Oh, that would have been 2005, season six, five, six before he signed the fall cup. Unknown. Maybe we've done a bit of digging, but your dad's no fazzling. Daz, dazzling. He's been going to dads. Daz in Glasgow, go down a lane and sniff, like, sniff each other's bags. Your dad's in charge of it. He's been kidding you on it's Fazlane, mate, it's dazzling. Well, the last movie was he walks out of the bag wait, again. Wait. Isn't it? You know, every day at Glasgow, I sniff. That's <laughs> just a line of dad. Yeah, he's, 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 he, I'm telling you now, he, he's dangerous, my dad. You need to be careful, aye. Huh? He's no one, he, he's, 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 he's in more than we know. Do you know what uh-huh. I mean? He's in with him more than we, we, he's letting on. Is he, aye? Uh, he could be like a spy. He's, uh, seriously, I think, I mean, we take, we take, have a laugh now, but. 0069, that. <laughs> Top class fucking documents in that rucksack, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Cutting down Hope Street. Oh. Classifieds. Oh, my. <laughs> Double O 69. Double O 69. Imagine he's in that suit. The tux on with the house cut out the tux. The <laughs> <laughs> bag one. <laughs> he is, I'm telling you, lads, I think he is naughty. Do you? He's a naughty boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else is I want to ask you is about? Oh, did you see that? Did you watch the draw now? Aye. Somebody done no, them with the, the car. Somebody done them with the shag, shagging noises, is not it? Oh, it was amazing. Mate, we need to find out who does because there's a genius in amongst that. We Steve Macca, didn't we? Steve Macca. Steve McMahon, who? Michael Owen sent him. Was it loud? It? Was it like. Mate, so loud. Was it high? Everyone was pushing themselves laughing. That's class. Amazing. Have you have you opened that when you're a whippy on? Aye, one ah, of the worst. Who were your family? Aye, I, I did it one day in the fucking waiting in the AE. Somebody said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was in AE with the kids, I think Tom had banged his eye or something, and we cut there. So I'm sitting, and somebody sent me through a text, right? But they've got clever with it. Who are you? Is it nurses or not there? Oh, no, like room for that AE, you're talking like loads of people. All AE is like waiting. fucking crammed, and I'm sitting there. <laughs> and they've got clever with it because what they, they used to just open up and it would go straight into it. Ah! But, but they just wrote a sentence. Oh, now it's, now it's like a proper wee video first. I can't believe this happened up in the uh-huh. castle melt. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm watching away, and then it just goes, and you're like, fuck! And they get oh, out, and work. everybody's turning around, and I'm like, oh, fucking hell, I've been done. Been Have you done. been done with it? I do, my, mine's just with my ma. Set me on. I set my ma, she's quite pretty sweet, she's quite pretty, she's where my dad's no. He's filthy, do you know what I mean? With the, with the, with the wee ma, and it's just pure all. She kids on, she doesn't hear it. I mean, you've just got to, uh, you've just got to have a laugh about it after some, that happens. Some but good ones but that one's probably the best I've seen in a big major a big uh, event. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder, I it, and to, it will come out who it was. It was, David, was it David Silver? He was talking at the time, wasn't he? Wait, David Silver's not got that in him, has he? <laughs> no, I don't think so. He looked got terrified. It's got to be my man, it's got to be Stevie. See, you slaughter that, that's genius, man. He looked, mate, he looked like your dad a wedding, didn't he? <laughs> Still in that drop. <laughs> Last thing, did you see Jake Humphreys on Twitter? No, what she said. He put a link to his own podcast in his family group chat. And then he put up the screenshot of his da. He put it in saying, I think you should all listen to my podcast this week. It would um there's there's bits in it that would that, that would be relevant to all you to, that you should listen to. And he's put the screenshot with his da writing back saying, Love the podcast, Jake. So many things I took away from it and all that and he put that up in, on Twitter. I don't get it. <laughs> families like that. Wait, see if I'd done that in my dad. Like, that's a family of Jehovah Witnesses or something like that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what the fuck? Imagine speaking to your dad like that. Your dad be like, fuck off. Imagine saying your dad like to your podcast. Man, that's truly really bad. Bizarre, mate, isn't it? That's strange, eh? Uh-huh. Sounds like a right laugh, that family. <laughs> man, that's... Uh, it's very, it. I know it's very strange mate. I was, he was getting slotted for it on there. Uh, and then before we go into Euro Twitter, I just wanted to say as well, and just yesterday, 
Pal, wait, Rana. Yeah, I, I genuinely love him, mate. I, I get nervous watching Tottenham games. You get, uh, you get dead angry though, didn't you? Do you know what I thought? Neville and Carragher. fucking Carragher, Neville and Keenan are desperate for him to fail, mate. They are. They didn't want him to come for no. this league and canter that league. That's what it is, mate. They're, They're all, scared yeah. that he's going to come for Scotland and, and, and rip that league up. And that's it, what he's doing, mate, and they hate it. Even listening to Radio Small, like Tim Shea would go on, he was saying that somebody was asking him about, would you stick to that like same thing of playing it for the back the way he does and the chances he takes? He's like, nah, I would definitely mix it up a bit, definitely mix it up a bit. And, bit, bit. and what's Tim Sherwood doing now, sitting in the house? Exactly. So I'm sitting there thinking, like, it's just his way of doing it. Like, so see, see Dave, Dave, we Dave that does the Sky Sports, what's his name, Dave Jones? Dave Jones. Uh, Why does he never got that? Well, listen, Roy, see your way, that obviously never worked. Uh, he's not got that about him. See, you're lacking instruction and no having a style of play. What, how, how did so that, 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 that go for you? They lost, what was it, three games in the bounds or two in the bounds? Uh, how many players? How uh, many players and they're still sitting right in the mix for gone for that league so right. see if they get players back and he goes and spends wisely tell you what man that, that, that league's open because I think why are they desperate for him to, to mix it up I don't so know. see Ten Hag when he first came here for Ajax see if he just stuck to playing like Ajax I bet he'd be doing a lot better than he is now yeah he's never got a clue now but the worst is see when Bissou McGee's at Bobby right every commentator went nuts they actually caught him stupid and all this right Brian Gill gets the ball for the first goal in the edges in box, turns a guy and says, yeah, and they go and score. They don't, they don't keep talking about that, how amazing that was for the goal. But when Basuma gives the ball, we try to play, I mean, they, they didn't stop going call them stupid, stupid play, like it's naive. They don't say it's naive when it's the, the, the Brian Gill does Do you know what else was doing, man? <coughs> man City were making mistakes playing it through the back. Aye. Gill takes the ball off, uh, uh, Bernardo Silva plays a short pass to a centre back, Brian Gill nips in. He should play Sun earlier, and if he does, Sun scores. Remember it, he delays too long. Aye, and not once did they go, ah, oh, look at Man City trying to it. Why are they doing that? Look at Tottenham taking the ball from that suicide. Do you, think it's, do you think it's because he's come from this league? 100% or? mate. Do you, aye? aye. They, they're always going to be doing it. Best aye. league in the world, like hardest league in the world. They'll be absolutely raging that a manager just came from Scotland and what it, what, so it, well. what it highlights sometimes is when you're watching it is, is it? It's not that good. It's not that great. But I, I used to say that. I, I remember when Sunderland were in the Premiership when I, when I was watching as a fan and I'd take the kids down to watch maybe like, I remember mean, doing what Sunderland Arsenal, what Sunderland, um, I can't mind. Harry was like, this is rubbish, Dad, isn't it? And I was like, aye, because th it's how they sell it. They make it sound and look like it's amazing because the graphics are great, the cameras are amazing. They actually go and watch a game for 90 minutes in that premiership. Fucking bore the tears off you sometimes. Blow the tears off you? Bore. Oh, sorry, mate. Bore the tears <laughs> no, off you, to be fair. <laughs> I can't, every week, it's every week the, the lot of them are doing it. Every single week, every time Andy's playing, you can see they're dying for something so they can get on it and say that's not right. Need to stop playing at this time, but they don't mention when it works. They'll ne you never hear them say. I watched. Oh, um, I watched another thing that Richard Keys on. Richard Keys, Richard Harry Keys, Knuckles. Aye, Harry Knuckles, him, McAtee, and Andy Wait. Gray, and talking about um, Alonso taking the Man United. Job. Aye. What <laughs> that? Keys, you said that. Keys, you said that. I know how to fix Man United. Keys, he's an ex Liverpool legend for the Man United. I need him on a high bro, mate. Keys, you're ever in it. Oh, Keys, you mate. Like, why, I think like, Richard Keyes was Steve Avery's accomplice for a farm, mate. I know, but why, 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 are, you, he was why, behind it. why are you saying what's... Xabi Alonso's no done... He's got Bayer Leverkusen playing a wee bit better. No, Xabi Alonso is flying, but just the... the Keyes, he can't But be. mate, where's he get... Like, how's Xabi Alonso the ex-Liverpool legend? Yeah, he's going to take my right job. Keyes, eh, man. Mate, I'm, see when I seen the clip and it says... Uh, the, the the thing of the clip was here's Richard Key's thoughts on Man United. I swear, see when he was talking, I thought he's gonna fucking say give the give the job to Sam Allardyce, mate. I was convinced. I remember he's one with Sam Allardyce with Man City, Man City defensive coach. Because he much he's world class at defending. <laughs> mate, that guy's miles after. Mate, Richard Keys is one of the worst, and how he's still on TV. Jason Market, here's the item. No, Keys, come on, mate. Aye. Did you smash it? <laughs> 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 right, last bit on England before we move on. Uh, uh, because we're, you like them, I like them. Talk to me about Man United's performance at Newcastle and that they took the front to me, Martial and Rashford. Have you? I I'm want disgusted. to ask you this, right? Have you ever played in a team where you've seen two players chuck it? No, I've never seen that, mate. No, I've never seen that in my Near life, mate. I'm talking. We've played. I've played in the dregs, mate. Because like, nobody would, uh, nobody would allow it in your team, surely. Like players that are playing with them, oh, but that living and mental. I mean, he just kept going, kept going, kept going, and Rashford just let him go the whole time. Then he run, then he run Mar Marcus Rashford's on 325 grand and a, a week, week and the guy can't even put, put an effort in. I know he does a lot of good away for football, amazing, well done. But the reason you're able to put that is because of what you do in the park. He, Martial, how, how is Martial 
Still at Man United <laughs> after. How's he still a thing? Did, 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 <laughs> he's did a Louis, wee part time, mate. Did Louis Van Gaal not sign him for like 50 million? 20 Brian, Brian Kidd, wasn't it? Brian Kidd. Brian signed Kidd, Kidd did this day. Oh my god, he man. He still stays with Brian Kidd, doesn't he? Maybe that's still. Hey, Brian Kidd doesn't want to go. I think somebody said he cost Man United 88 million pounds or something. Martial did. Martial's cost. How's he still there? But see yourself as a football player, how could you go on the pitch and no run about? Like you'd be disgusted with yourself when you came off and you actually sat on the bus back to the He's been like for a, ages, mate, Rashford. His body language stinks. Ah, yes. Stinks of He was at that two seasons ago. Last season he had it, he picked up with a better season last year and he's back to Aye. the old. The one the the season before last season he was poor then and then he's picked it up and yet he'll get picked for England every fucking if you're guy aside. No, to be fair, I think Jeff has been quite ruthless with him, hasn't he? I haven't been fair, but he's still No, I wouldn't take him in all. He'll still be on that plane. Jinx so, huh? Aye, fucking definitely. No way. Why don't we do that? Go and watch Southern Newcastle FA Cup. Oh, oh what a draw! You must be buzzing. I know. Class. Oh, is that the draw, mate? Aye. It's a draw. Aye. Southern Newcastle. It's doing right. How's Sunday been doing? All right. It's nah, drawn. Nah. Aye. Nah, it's 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 under pressure. Some people are more good. He's giving it the fucking <laughs> double guns, isn't he? <laughs> he's under pressure. Jake, man, that draw got me. He just sat. Imagine he's sitting with his missus and just. Like <laughs> 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 when, did he, <laughs> when did he do that? When was so? Give an example. When he so, would do that. I would always watch Morgan because he was quite funny, mate. Like in a way, he didn't mean to be funny. So say somebody ran through, it and you think they're going to score, and like they fucking hit the ball by the post, he was just standing like that. <laughs> shoot, shoot yourself. <laughs> I don't know if he's under pressure, but the, the, the results have been great. So it just depends what the fans want. But I don't know who they bring in. But um, a nah, great draw. I'm right, enough of that English nonsense. Aye. Scotland will be opening the Euros in Munich. Wow, can't believe it. What, what a draw. What a draw, mate. Full world will be watching. I think you could have got a better draw, eh? No, nah, nah. you couldn't have. Opening ceremony as well, wasn't it? Open Before ceremony. All the celebs will be there. Underdogs. Mate, we've got a right chance, I think, against them because they are not. The no, old they're Germans. pish. They are I'm not over exaggerating, mate. No. They're pish. Their results are brutal, and I've heard, I have heard that there's a, a massive split with Nagelsmann. Split, in, split with? <laughs> <laughs> no, and in the camp, supposedly they're um, they're not having. What is this? Door. What is this? Due to his tactics, his personality. No, you know what, mate, is it no thing? His missus is in a, a reporter. For He's a reporter, so that's how at Bayern it, it became very messy. Um, but what I, I, it, it, with Germany, it's mental. Like they were obviously for when we all grew up, or for years and years, have always been right. one of the best teams. But see the mentality, like the whole team lost. Sniff, he sniffs it. The, the boss sniffer. The boss sniffer. He um, he won the World Cup with him, but then. All of a sudden, they just stopped playing for him. Yeah. Then Hansi Flick, who won the Sorry Champions League, you there, you you up me, boss you sniffer. Because he's touched his balls, the World Cup now smells like his balls. There'll be a the tinge actual trophy, there'll be a tinge of his balls on the trophy. His balls have been on that trophy. That's a sick kind of thinky. <laughs> Sorry, Not Hansi at all. Flick. But then Hansi Flick comes in, who won the Champions League with Bayern. Majority of the players are Bayern in, in Germany. And it, it doesn't work for Hansi Flick either. And then New York Nagelsmann's came in and it seems like there, there seems to be a, a huge problem with Germany. They've not got a centre forward either. Tell no. me six, right? Tell me six good Germany players right now. That's what I was just going to say. Sani, Musiala, Musiala, Sani. Kimmich. Three. Gretzka. Shit. He's not good, nah. Gretzka. That's what I'm, that's Gnabry, what I'm going to say. I don't think Gnabry's nah, great, too. Gnabry, nah. There's no standout German names in world <laughs> football, isn't <laughs> In terms of like, oh, they've got that, 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 that and that. Musiala's a joke to me. Musiala is good. He's English, isn't he? He's English. Mm-hmm. How's England let him go? Sani, but they've not got a centre forward, so Scott, I fancy, I, I fancy even in, in the other two teams as well, they are no great. Uh, Hungary's had a good, they, uh, they had a good group. T- they were top of their group. Top uh, of their group, so they'll be decent. Although it doesn't sound glamorous, Hungary, but they've picked up over over the time, so they, they'll be a tough game. But I there are three f- games that we can, we shouldn't be scared of. See, Ge- so see Germany. What, what did they play? Is it a four? I think it'd be a four three three. So why why was Kai Havertz playing left back the last couple of games? I don't. That's the problem. I don't even. Think, I don't even know the full backs. But he, he's he been playing full back. back. I, I, you can't play Kai Havertz, nah. Havertz left back, mate. mate I don't like Kai Havertz a player. Dino, nah. nah. No matter how player. I don't know what he is. Don't know what he is. Kai Havertz, eh? Hey? Aye, that's what a lot of people say. Don't know what he is. We <laughs> left Chelsea to go to Arsenal. Arsenal said, "Why sign him? He's not a striker." So. I seen somebody wrote Steve Clark will play absolute anti football on the first on the opening game of the Euros and nah. I fucking love it or somebody somebody tweeted but I don't think that would be the case, mate. Nah. I think Scotland will go there and have a right good go at Germany, eh? I think the early stages of Scotland's um tenure under Steve Clark was kinda anti football. It was basically just to try and get results and be a bit more positive about results and as as we've bedded these players into our system, we now have our own attacking system where we've got players that can fill in in every position. So we now, Steve Clark's had to basically 
go against what he was wanting to do because we've got the players now to accommodate that attacking type and I think I, I genuinely think we could we'll aye, we four get, points get out of that group aye because I think there's some third teams get, uh, third aye that's get right there's but eight, I think third teams get through as well I think Scotland will get, definitely get second do you mate huh? aye I don't, the other two teams aren't they, um, <coughs> aren't they strong at all I think what about the bastards easy jet mate a flight I've aye, seen this morning aye. a flight for Edinburgh and Munich 724 quid that's disgusting mate I don't know they yeah, better are flying from here to somewhere else in Europe and then back across. How are we getting there? His Uber. Really? Oh, I I you Uber? Your Uber. No, that's too tight. It was bad enough going to Peter Head. Oh, no, right. We'll get we'll get a some loads of people. Submarine? No. Somebody no. fast lane sort of submarine for us. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are we part of the fucking submarine in Germany? And by the way, you all thought I was stupid. If well, you look in the video how hard it is to get a ship into the water, I was completely right. Well, it's one of the hardest things. It's one of the hardest things in the world. And, and Derek and Faddy passed it off as just fucking flinging something into the water. How do you get a ship out of the water? It's impossible, mate. People nearly die, don't it? They need, you need to sprint out the way, don't you? Life risk and I. It's like it's, uh, it is, mate. It's and the more the more we've got people running out the way of a boat getting out of the water. Uh -huh. I'm telling you. It's scary, mate. Uh, Switzerland only won two of the last eight games, which were against Andorra, mate. East Coast Bike could beat Andorra. 100%. That's a big shout. Bold. <laughs> Let's get a friendly arranged. He's called Vine via Andorra. Listen, um, Switzerland, who's Switzerland? Will they, will, they be the, will they be the whipping boys? <laughs> <laughs> who they got? Shikiri. Shikiri. Who they got? Shikiri. 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 I've never been whipped a few uh, times, I Spanked it. Right, slapped it, I. Are you <laughs> ass? How, in what position? With well, rings on. Just, just to have maybe get the shower oh, walking by and make him just, just be like, No, but I mean, that's actually where you want to use it. And in bed, big boy. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> uh, anyway, so who's good? Any, any information on Hungary for us? She's bad. Spot as Every time <laughs> somebody says Hungary, it's Spot as Lion, isn't it? Oh, any deals yeah. for us? Yeah. Don't know anybody from Hungary. You're going to, you are going to read, you're going to read on it. You're like, you're. International European football, you're right. going to read up on this? I'm going to go right, I'm going to go out to the both countries. Aye. Three countries actually Hungary, um, and go out to Germany as well and do a lot of research on the teams in Switzerland as well. So well, let's focus on Scotland. I've seen a bit hang on BBC Sports on they talk about Harvey Barnes. If he phoned Steve Clark, is he one you would take? Or are you still in the camp of go with the boys that I've got us there? Anthony Gordon was brilliant for Newcastle and Aye, He must get an England call. He's some player, Anthony I Gordon. think he's he, I think he is the one player possibly now in England that could break into that squad. Anthony Gordon. You're wanting for the team photo as well, aren't you? Aye. Aye. Right beside him. There'll be a yeah. fight to get next time, aren't there? But for us, Steve Scotland, Steve Clark's done it beside him. I, I think it would be... <laughs> that Steve Clark. Fuck off, you. Get, get right next to me. <laughs> I think it'd be unfair on the on the squad that's got us there if Harvey Barnes was to come in late on, but I think there's a space for somebody. Get into one of these strikers. Well... Is Shanklin a guarantee? Dykes, Adam, Shanklin, that's all you need. <laughs> would, you, would you take him? Like a, a Barnes or an Anthony Gordon? I would take them in Anthony Gordon. To give you a better chance of doing well. Because like, every nation's doing it, aren't they? Uh -huh. like, uh, again, I, I think Harvey Barnes looks like a great boy, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I could be completely uh, wrong. But just fits but in just, with the He doesn't look like he'd come and he'd be big time or he'd get above his station. I think he would come and fit in with that squad. He seems uh -huh. like a nice nice boy. I could be completely wrong, but... Aye. Listen, look and at it's look, 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 I think uh, that's where we lack. Well, look at our group, our group. We've got a good chance of getting out of that group and then all you're needing is a wee favourable draw from then on in to get you maybe closer. I remember, remember Wales got to the... Was it the quarter-final? Semi-final. Semi why, why could that not you be You text us? the manager an hour before the game. That's right, Pepe, aye. Yeah, I'll text me. Sure you me. did. Aye. Has he ever texted you back? Aye, always text me back. Does he, eh? Aye, fuck aye. You and Big Pagey? Wales, are, they've got a qualifier, haven't they? Right, do you know what I want you to do? I want you to make a prediction of where Sco how, how well Scotland will do. You said it's second in the groups, so that means obviously you go through. You know me, I, I'm going to go quarter-finals. I think it'll be, I think it'll be, I think they'll do really well. I'll tell you what, we get last 16 and I'd be over the win, but then it's, then it's your Donald Duck. Can we win that group and give ourselves a better chance of a... a I think they can win that group. Do I think we could win the group. Oh, we're getting card away, aren't we? We're getting fat. Aye, Scotland and Germany qualify for if that. Scotland got better players. Here's one for you. If Scotland got better players than Germany? No. No? no. I don't think we have, but I think yeah, we've, got team, better, we've got a better really. team um, team environment, I would say, than Germany. Better team spirit in that. Team spirit, yeah. team environment. I think we could go there and. I don't know. I just. I, I always think of that night we beat Denmark at Hamden. And for me, that was like the best performance I've seen Scotland play, I think, in my lifetime. Mm. And I think if we can replicate nights like that. We, we'll, we'll do very, very well. Do you think the quality of the manager comes into tournaments? Before you say, yeah, bear in mind that Argentina won with a manager that had managed about fucking 30 games in the Argentina, am I right in saying that? Aye. 
Nah, I think I think that's it. But he nah. was he was. What, what, what do you tell? What, I've we've been in camps. We've been in twenty one camps. We've been in younger camps. What do you tell her? What, what can you give to a group of players in the space of two or three weeks? No, I didn't get it. Can't, it's I'm individuals. Isn't it? You're safety. asking the boys just to come up and play to the maximum ability. You're going to set them up. This, this is how we want you to play. You just go out there and try and... Nah, what? I think it's so important. I think you look at Gareth Southgate at England. Do you think he's killing England? Aye, I do. I think he's holding him back. I would it's say so that, boring. Right. It's so boring. <coughs> so negative. But do you think he's going out and saying England be going to be born and be negative? No, but I just think it's maybe... His tactics maybe the way he sets up his team and maybe wants that extra sort of holding player when he doesn't need it mm. do you know what I mean he likes to put uh, he he Henderson in beside Rice you yeah, just go by Rice and play between front yeah. I don't know he just seems like a cautious guy doesn't he yeah, he yeah, yeah, loves yeah. everything health and safety I know isn't he uh, he's big on health and safety <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. he's big on health and safety so I want to ask this as well that debate we talk about because Scotland usually do play with two sitters with Steve Clark yep. was it the last game they went with one sitter and two more advanced is there, is there types of games where Germany you might go with the two sitters and then against your Hungary's in Switzerland you go with the two mere attacking players? I think he will. I think he will mix it up. I think he'll, he'll start. I think Germany will play with the four across the two the two sitters. Um, but I think there will be times where he maybe feels that having somebody off maybe Dykes or somebody off Adams so you take that extra and I think he, he, he will change it but certainly um, in the first V Germany I think he'll go with the four across the middle McTominay, McGinn, McGilmore and McGregor. There's huge pressure on Germany <coughs> because it's their, 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 their tournament and they're the home nation. Do you think that goes against Scotland, that? No, no. I think it I works for Scotland. Scotland. Do you? I, I think, think that, that helps, group of Germany players can handle like that, that right. expectation, but they've not got big players there. I think at the first game in the, the Allianz, is it? Allianz, is that what it is? And the only thing is, is that a lot of Bayern Munich players play there every right. week, isn't it? So it's like a home game for them. How many t- tickets will Scotland get? Will there be a lot of Scotland fans well, the ticket, in the stadium? Well, the tickets were all sure done by... Um, Gordon Smith when he did it. You, 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 applied for them, you applied for them through the, the, the UEFA website, and then there's certain Scotland uh, fans with certain amount of points will be guaranteed tickets. But um, we'll be there. Well, we, we are doing the fan parts, but Gordon Smith's wanting a two beer limit on the fan Aye, parts, isn't it? He'll be two beers through the course of the night. He'll be, he'll be going about with a torch checking, checking how many pints you've had. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be in talks now, won't he? Well, it's uh, it's kicking off in Munich, but we're taking off for the hydro. Mate. I think he's put a free beer limit on the hydro, Gordon. Isn't free he? only. Free aye. So nothing before it. There's uh, make sure you don't miss out. Send off events hydro for the Scotland national team. Unbelievable night to celebrate them going, won't it? Oh, the class. So we'll, get, we'll get the inside scoop for some of the players on Pure their Scotland thoughts and feelings night. going to the I going know. to the Euros. I know. It's, oh God. Who do you think in that Scotland team's made for the hydro? Tell me. You've said that before. Tell me, mate. McGinn, so. McGinn would be brilliant. McGinn will be good, I think. Oh, McGinn will be very good. Singing for him. I, I'd be, if we could get McLeish and McGinn to talk about the arse thing. Aye. Mate, you were saying the other day, Betty votes a must. Betty votes a must now. Germany, I know, mate. Kev, go and te- have you got his number? I don't think so, no. Go text. I don't think so. I, I, I can't imagine we still got his British when number. When was the last time you spoke to him? Oh, fucking 2000 and... What was the last convo you had to him? I don't think I've got his number, boys, honestly. You're done that. You're... you're you did, your dad dad like the did your dad like your strippers? Did your dad like your strippers? Imagine Betty Bolton's dad strippers. Nah, I don't know he'd be at his number. <laughs> we need to get, we need to get in time, Fad, you could get it, can't you? Oh, Fad Faddy, Faddy and Betty would be on speed dial. Nah, uh, 100%. Faddy was Betty's love child. Uh-huh. He absolutely loved you. Oh, James, 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 where is James? What was it? Was the tactic just pass the ball to James? I just got it, James. What was Bertie Vote's what was Bertie Vote's tactic? This is good because nobody's ever actually said this. So like what shape did you play? What was the instruction? You're asking somebody that kind of remember all to be last week. And they asked me to remember something to be ten years ago. But what did you usually go with like, two strikers in it? Aye, we always we, 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 we you thought you were German, didn't you? My first day uh, I did thought I was fucking all of a beer hole. <laughs> uh, so I was Kevin Cranny. Remember him, Kevin, Kevin Cranny, Schalke. Played, what a played against him. <coughs> good. Aye, played against when we played Germany. We're going to come to that. Actually, it's in the questions in there. Uh, aye, he was very good, Kevin Cranny. Um, but well, come on, Bertie's tactics. We always played. We played like a four-four-two. Um, Revolutionary. We were probably quite direct. But again, it was hard because we had a lot of like players come and go. Like there was, it was never the same squad. At, like for uh-huh. two or three squads in a row, it was always right. David Weir's decided to retire or. Alan Johnson's decided to quit, Don Hutchins isn't coming back because he's quitting and then the next batch, oh they're not good enough, right okay we'll try the next lot, it was just 
I can veer about our players, but it, we, always, we always played two up front. Did you like him as a guy? Eh? Oh, I thought he was very good. Was he better? Eh? I, I liked him as a person, like really <coughs> relatable. Had your back at all costs, him and Reiner Bono off the 21s manager. Mm. The two of them had your back at all costs. Aye, they, they were very big and um, what they wanted to do with the players was their group and any outside noise they tried to no let it get involved because the SFA, the, 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 the kind of higher had a hierarchy, they, they wanted to get involved sometimes in things that maybe Bertie wanted to do, you know, like having a drink before the night before the game, maybe they were like, no, we can't do that, but Bertie was like, no, this is the way I'm doing my stuff, this mm. is... What were they thinking saying that, eh? I know, fucking... Tell you not to drink night before the game, wine before the game, we've got a special cake. <laughs> special cake. You said he just loved your big German sausage, so that... <laughs> Aye, my breakfast. Bertie was good, like, <laughs> thinking back to the training and stuff, I can't... Uh, that made me shocking, but Tommy Burns took the training. Mm. So I training was, uh, Tommy Burns was, Tommy Burns and him and got on really well. Uh, so did he just kind of let Tommy do what he wanted in terms uh, of like shape? And Tommy did most of it. Right? Um, and then Bertie would come in and, but, oh, he was fucking a fiery wee guy by the way. Mm, he's done great, me honestly. Uh, we did, uh, he's, <laughs> a crack, he's a crack. He's <laughs> won a game. Uh, you can get tickets in the description box. Be can you be no. baffled we vote coming on the stage right oh. now? Wait, imagine <laughs> that <laughs> for him. What tune would you play for him? I am a fire starter. <laughs> That's a blown fire at his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> in a cage. <laughs> Roll him in a cage and he's spitting fire at it. He's there in a cage, man. What I'd love him in a cage. There? Somebody's got to be in a cage. I think he's got to. I would rather want to. Derek. has got to say Derek, innit? I need to try and get out. <laughs> 12 Moretti in a crowbar to try and get Each out. 10 a cage. minutes he doesn't get out. I, 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 my clothes comes off him. <laughs> <laughs> I want this show to be absolutely madness. Uh -huh. Like one of the ones it's like you could die at the end of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> How are you getting on with the musicians? Uh, well, do, we've got. Gaze like, away, come on, let's see what you've been watching. I need. What I'm saying is, people, I, I need them. Um, I need people to help me. Because I'm stuck with the same chords. That's what you said. Every song uh, sounds That's the a same. nice jump of that, Steve. My mum used to hear that from all people from back in the day. <laughs> That's a real like, That's a real shit! That's a real shit! That's a great Lino, is it not? Lino, Lino mate, eh? <laughs> Keep dressed as Lino. That's the only song I'm playing, innit? Let, let's just hear it. Uh, we've never actually heard the voice. Very quiet. It's a, it's a low... Nice and loud for, the, for everyone to hear. Wait a minute. So I don't get any more fucking messages about the audio. Come on, nice and loud. Oh, tune. Candy. And it is, it's no tune, to, it's plain, it just sounds like shite's running out of it. So I'm going to tune this and then you just keep talking. You know what I mean? And tune what, your the heat tune. or the guitar? No, the heat. <laughs> Where's the tuner? And then, so Right, talking. while he's telling that, because we were going to ask Faddy who's meant to be on today, but, uh, so did you play in that Germany game? You said you played against Kevin Kranja? No, that was Scotland future team versus Germany future team. Right. So they had quite a few... Stars coming through. I, think I played up front that night with Kenny Miller. Getting called up for the Scotland future teams like getting called up for fucking jury duty or something. Aye, aye, that's a Scotland B. I'm desperate to get out of it. Ah, that's not right. Well, that's well, a good game. I think we beat them three. Who came up with that future team? I don't know. We beat them three too. I think we beat them three. Where did you play, kid? <laughs> we played them in Germany. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I think it was mines. Team. I think we played them in mines. Your who's? Um, C2. Did you say uh, Mines? <laughs> it was Mines, I heard about Mines. <laughs> That's That is brilliant. Um, but did we play Germany? No, did we play Germany? Or did we play Germany for the team? Somebody's going to mess his head. That oh, boy, that, that boy you must have to go on that horse. That boy will know, that boy will know, because I only said it five years ago. <laughs> but you said you played, so when did you play against Kevin Kranje? That was Scotland B versus Is that Germany. Germany. You did play Germany? Aye, but it was Germany B, you're saying... Oh, that should no. I they were talking about that. Kevin was in it. So the reason that, that you know that oh, it's a waste of fuck ever come up with that idea of B team. Well, the reason that was happened, he ended up getting in the national team because of the the game. Aye, because um, who else played the Germany? Do you remember? Oh fuck no! I had, I had the team sheet up. Oh, they actually I was trying to find the video. I had the video of the game. Did you score? I scored. Set up one for Kenny it? as well. Kenny played. Brilliant. I think no long after that, then Kenny became a Scotland regular. So they did work. Ah, it did work. And, and you're um, too humble. I, mate. I, I, I would say that that was. In all my days of playing football, that was the best game I ever played. Was it, mate? Mm -hmm. What? That Scotland B game against right, Germany? I was fucking brilliant that night. Are you, mate? I, I genuinely this? believe. I, I remember coming off that night and the next day, Bertie phoned me and said, Cologne, Bruce and Gladbach, this is many teams want you. And I was like, really? He says, I, big Scottish target man. He says, that's what they're wanting. And I was like, fucking there we go. But it didn't happen. But I've just, I, I actually played that game that night and then flew back to Sunderland and played for Sunderland the next night on the bench. 
Did you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But, was, um, but no, the, hey, Germany and Scotland. Germany and Scotland. Has there only been any been big we're Germany about, Scotland results in the past? We're thinking about this all day, don't you? Is there? We've never really had many games against the Germans. We always seem to play the fucking same teams. Mm. Denmark's all the time. I mean, that would be so. I, mean, I think the feel of Scotland's going to go there here. Aye, the opening game, getting the opening game is incredible. The opening game oh, is man. probably the biggest game of the Euros, I would say, apart from the final, because opening up, everybody, it's, it's like on. the 14th of June. Hopefully, there's some other weather. I know. Yeah, it'd be class. That Euro, that uh, World Cup opening game was brilliant. That Tom Boyd nearly took his nose off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you, the thing is, with the last Euros, the one that's, the one that was in um, across the whole of the UK and stuff, and the, the it was COVID times, so we couldn't really celebrate it as well it's as what well well is now. You broke the rules a couple of times, didn't you? Right. Celebrated a friend. <laughs> <I'm trying, isn't laughs> no, but it's, that's. I wonder who's going to play the gig before that. Where did you go for that carpet world? No, well, that was the. Uh, do you know what that was? That was the same show, but the the trousers with the alarm. That alarm, fuck me. You've man. got trousers with an alarm in it. No, with the tag that left on Zara. <laughs> oh, H uh, and M. H and M. So that's where I got this for. Got that same outfit that day. Why is that like that? Do you? Bitch, I do, mate, I do like fucking that. horrendous. I man. just cause you snow, mate. Don't know about the camp boots, right? Enough. <laughs> where do you even get? They're for a camp. What's the camp shop? Blacks. They're definitely. They're definitely a TK Max. No, my dad. Being Q, they're being Q, mate. My dad brought that. Being Q, play section. My dad, no joke here. I know what is, people think. I'm just saying things about my dad. No, try to joke. My dad brought everyone who has a pair of them in. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? Full bag of them on. He's definitely they've been whipped off five times doing caps? that dazzling, isn't it? Aye. Are they still uh, toe caps? No. No. They are no, they're no steelies. No. Mm-hmm. They have screamers in there. I just wear them for the snow. I think they socks, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take that. Look at my ginger hairs, my toes. You got a small ankle there. Look at my ginger. Where the fuck his freckles on their toes? <laughs> Look at my ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy toes, man. I get a watch that's holding a. Wait, uh, what is it, a bread stick? How if I get ginger hairs on my toes? <laughs> well, I can't understand these two freckles, though. They're belters, mate. Nice by the way, your feet are much nails. My feet are horrendous, mate. They're nice nails, by the way. They're not bad, mate. Uh-huh. Do you know how sore is it when one of your toes dig into the other toe with a nail? Uh-huh. And it gushes of blood? <laughs> when you're playing. Aye, oh, uh, red draw when you come uh, brutal. Right, domestic stuff, lads. Celtic yesterday, I watched the full game. Uh, 3-1, t- very bad first half. I thought the brilliant second half. What was the difference, Kev? I didn't Sorry. watch the first half, but I got the second half and the difference was obviously oh, taking You're off. a lucky boy, you missed the first half. Was it that bad? Was it that bad, oh, aye? Wow. I heard that. Was it really bad, aye? Felt like three years the first half. I mate. turned it over and I was like, one St John's? I was like... Something must have been bad, right? St. Johnston's very good, and then obviously. St. John- see, you credit, sorry to interrupt you. St. Johnston were good defensively. Ah, Rogers said they bullied him. Do you know what they've done? It? Like, they, got, they got bodies over, the, wherever the ball was, mate, they got bodies over ah, quite so made made it really compact, can, tough to compact play through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space made it diff- But the boy, and I'll, I'll give him credit because I think he deserves it. My, Michael Johnson. Done well, didn't he? Do you know what he was? He was direct. He got Which the ball and wasn't he scared to. If he tried to go by somebody and it didn't work, he would get the ball again and try again. And what ended up doing was it was moving players, and then I think the, the, the main substitution was O coming on. See, I thought I, I thought Mikey John done really well, right. but I thought I still thought the first fifteen in the second half wasn't as good as it was after O came on. I thought it o was made an O massive came on, he I became did, a target. Yeah, and then the, 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 the two the two the two halves of St Johnson didn't really know what to do with him. Did we pin him? Did we just let him be? And he kept he kept getting in, so by, by them two centre halves focusing on him allowed then space for others to get balls down the site. And it's pretty, and then what ended up happening was when it went wide. Back this up. When it went wide, Celtic then had a target to hit. So then St. Johnson players are then sitting back thinking, "Oh, did we pick up? Oh, what did we do?" And I just, I, I felt, I felt, I, I felt O'Reilly, thing. McGregor, and even Taylor to a point came inverted. He came in quite a lot, which then allowed space for Palmer out in the left. And he kept cutting inside. He put in some right good uh, balls, by the way. See first half with Kyogo. See that. Because there was one strike, it allowed that centre back to come and play, yep. stop that space for the runners in. Right. When O came on, mate, they went and played and yep. left the winger there, and it just the centre half had to go and then attach himself to the two centre forwards, and it left big gaps here two? for four four was, two. Was four four two, and then you got Taylor. Taylor every time Taylor came in here, loads, and then Palmer just stayed right out here, and they kept getting the body. Palmer, he just kept coming in, and sometimes I think they made. And O'Reilly would just run in. But then O'Reilly started making runs, and then obviously on the other side, the boy. Um, 
Johnson. Johnson and uh, Mikey, Mikey Johnson, the both Johnsons, they were, they were really good. But yeah. second half, a lot more runners off the ball. Oh, I thought, I, seeing the ball go to a winger in the first half, Young actually felt a wee bit sorry from the ball would go to him. And just go and pe- beat ah, people and get some. See, second half when the ball went down, and there was runners all the time, yeah. right? either overlapping or running in that space, and it gave him so many more That's options. Aye. Yang the, actually looked like how we would play with the first. See, when you felt like that with the first aye. team, That's, I, I was watching it thinking, I know how he feels right now. Aye. Everything you kind of see today just doesn't aye. go right. But you can tell there's a player in there, eh? Because he does a couple of things where he bounces it and then he runs into space. He's ju- he's offside for it that he does, but it's really good. Maybe he just needs more time to adapt to the way Celtic want to play, and, play uh-huh. and, and how what he thinks is good in his head. Maybe isn't it benefit the team? So maybe like I've seen him like a few times. Remember the other week the other been highlighted against the mother where he wasn't slipping the balls in dying yeah, for Riley. He was right. coming inside. So he maybe to understand that that's just the way we're doing it. Yeah. But I think by having Owen as a target, not a target man because he's not a target man, but. He has that physical presence that allows the two centre halves to, to half. occupy the centre halves, which then allows more space for other people. And again, Celtic, you're putting cross at the box, you're slipping balls down channels. Don't get it wrong, the goal from McGregor was an unbelievable What's strike, <clears throat> but it needed that. Oh, that's a great hit. It needed that for St John to, to break, because if, if that doesn't go in, I think it could have went on a wee bit longer before they actually got the equaliser. And then obviously the strike from O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Even first O'Reilly. half, O'Reilly was the one that kept trying to run ah. that space, but Yang wasn't getting him the ball. Yeah. Mm. But oh, I thought O'Reilly for the full game was. was it, he's taking his game another level. That finish, mate, is, ah, is brilliant. Is he right or left footed, O'Reilly? Left footed. I mean, that's on his right, right foot, mate. Right. I tell you what, Sounds like will do well to hold on to him. Oh, 100%. Uh, uh, right, I don't need to keep him beyond the summer, O'Reilly, no. no. I think, I think, I've always thought that. I always think with, with Celtic or even Rangers, I always think you could go an extra striker up. See when teams are sitting that yeah, deep, deep. I don't think there's a, sometimes a need for that extra midfielder, no. but you, you, you face that a lot, don't you? With teams yeah. getting behind the ball, do you ever feel that you'd put an extra striker on? Nah, or does it take away, <coughs> maybe hit the counter? We probably would, mate, but sometimes we'll go for a three with a sitter to a two and a ten. Oh, I'd push one up to get somebody closer to the centre forward. I think if you're putting an extra striker in, in in games like that, it needs to be a target man type thing. Because yeah, because balls are coming in the box. Because balls are coming. They have, you have to have two. Oh, ups. If you're right. playing two up front, Aye. you can't have two wee guys like Kyogo doing the same runs yeah. and making the same yeah. movements all the time. Whereas, O might no need to run very far to cause enough problems to create space for somebody else. But I th- I just feel, I, but on that when Celtic um, were two one up, I still felt. They were vulnerable. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. How's the guy doesn't score? Oh, the boy, uh, what do you call him, Cook? That's the Aye. kit man for Sunderland's boy that used to be a kit man. Oh, um, yeah. My John Cook, his dad was a, a player at Sunderland. Um, I don't know how he doesn't just go and he doesn't, he doesn't look confident enough to go and just go. He doesn't attack, attack, attack it. Doesn't Typical wingers. Um, pillow heat. Uh, <laughs> No power at all. Right? He's full of diarrhea. Um, what I am going to say, and it's your, again your be pal praise. And see if anybody wants to know why James Forrest has had the career he's had and why he scores the goal he's had, watch his reaction when the ball goes forward, mate. And watch St Johnson's pl- reaction. He plays it forward? He plays it and he fucking sprints. He does the jog, the, mate, he sprints. And that wasn't the first time he did that, because a couple of times where he's played it wide and he's the first one to go and... But see when that ball came in for the third goal? There was what never, a mate, It was never in doubt. doubt. His touch was amazing and his composure was class, because I just don't think anything bothers him. Nah. And I know Celtic fans think, oh, we're, we're playing in a leader where we've got Mikey Johnson back playing, we've got James Forrest. These guys are good players. Mate, I'm Forrest telling you, mate, James Forrest is finished and touch and finish. I mean, he could easily take the huff, mate, like no playing again, but when he came, I thought he was brilliant when right. he came on Forrest. Eh? Just his enthusiasm for football, mate, to run. Do you know what, what I mean? When you look at guys like Rashford, who are jo- James Forrest comes on, he bursts his ass all the time, mate. Do you think he's um, in and out of the team and he comes brilliant. on and he, f- he never sulks, he just gets on with his job. Do you think it's time, uh, time to give me cool go a break? No, never. I would never take him out of the team. No. Yeah. I think when Atati, he misses Atati, didn't he? That's the problem. Atati's Atati. the one that looks for him. Because yep. he makes so much... See, when you know, I always watch strikers, because we have problems getting our strikers on the bus at times he's got by, so I'm always watching how do you get... See, the amount of times he makes great he makes runs, runs, mate. And they didn't play the bottom. Aye. You watch Haaland just sitting yesterday, they're always looking to find Haaland, yeah. mate. Aye. But it just turned goals in that dried pass. up in this season. Goals have dried up, but, but he's yeah, still getting chances. The chance he had yesterday was a very good chance, and obviously I don't know if he would just lift that over the keeper, but the run and the timing in the pass was amazing. That didn't happen if you but tough game. It was never going to be easy. So just it'll be a hard place to go now. Right. Under it's, never, it's never going to be easy. Very but well it's it's, a, it's another it's a win after two disappointing results, i.e. Motherwell in the in the game through the week with Lazio, but yeah. it keeps the 
it keeps the, the, the gap there. And then, um, I don't know, who's Celtic got through the week? Hibs. Uh, Hibs at home. Hibs will be Hibs, they're, they're doing well, Hibs, aren't they? We're We're going to come Wednesday. I want to get your thoughts on Hart. I think he should do better the first goal. Aye. But he makes that save at the end. He's a, I think he's a good shot stopper, Hart, but even, he even played it through the back at times. There was a time when he passed it and it wasn't, it wasn't a See, you're going to play it through the back, mate. It's so important your goal is oh. so comfortable with his feet. Yes, he Rogers, he's your it? extra man, isn't he? Because if, if, mm. St Johnston, fair play to them. St Johnston were coming right up against Celtic, mm -hmm. man yeah. for man. So that's where, in these situations, you need your goal to be great with the ball at his feet. I know, I think um, when I watched, uh, I watched a bit of the St Mirren Rangers game and I see when the ball came back to Butland, Butland's playing passes to like Tavernier in front of him up the halfway line they're thinking that's like a 25 30 yard pass right into his feet and away, and away he goes whereas it comes back to heart and it's like it's quite hesitant i don't know whether he's has he ever been good with his feet obviously that's why maybe pep got rid of man city that's no strong point is it no it's not a strong point but, but again but he makes some big saves and a big a huge save yeah. he had his a leader in the dressing room as well yeah, boys love him he's brilliant but it was a huge save he's 37 now so i think you would expect somebody else to come in and Game proper I'd competition, wouldn't no, I think they would look for a uh, keeper. Celtic. Celtic. Great, it's best great, the way save. They play. great save to keep his team in it at that time of the game. Took, what was it? That was about the 89th minute or something. Yeah. And then Celtic break and got the part and score. But um, Rogers was raging, wasn't he? Anyway, what well, did you make of that? I didn't He'd been quite critical, and he? he said there was enough quality in the squad, and then he was quite. I didn't angry actually mind yesterday, game. but I, I just think it, overall I, I'm getting a wee bit sick of hearing the, the quality shout. Look. Fair enough if you think that the, the, the there does need more quality behind the scenes do it. But it just seems every single every interview I'm hearing every interview I'm hearing is that you know, lack of quality, lack of quality. Like, I, I I don't like I mean I don't want to always give Ange as the example, but Ange goes to uh, the Etihad yesterday with two full backs, who are only full backs playing set. I never hear him make excuses or saying about his striker, yeah. he's, he's best Spurs' best ever striker, Kane leaves the last of the transfer window, they don't replace him. I never hear him going, Oh well listen, it's gonna it's gonna take quality. need more quality with no with no I don't like it. I think as as a manager and as a as a club, it's fine behind the scenes to keep working and try to get better players, but I can't keep, I'm getting sick and drained. I just keep every, every game saying lack of quality because there is a lot of quality there. I get maybe in Europe in, in certain positions you need better quality. I get that, but just to keep on here, if I'm if I'm a player, I, I would I would feel that I'm yeah, sick. Of, sure. I'm sick. Of, I'm keep saying that. Like, mm. I do. I just. I, I think when when you keep saying that, I think it's a wee bit like no, you're not prepared to fail. But when something That's something. Nice. Then, Something then happens, so when you get a bad result, it's kind of almost like, well, the manager does say there's a lack of quality. I don't like that. Mm. I don't, I mean, there, there, there is maybe positions there you, you do need to strengthen, but date behind the scenes. Where do you, where do you stand with that? We're all just constantly like the. I get what you're saying. We had, we had a manager like it, eh? Decano used to say it all the time. Honestly, every time he got beat, he would be in the media going, we need more quality, we need better players. and... I could see it affect some players, mate, whereas uh, I would probably be one that'd be like, well, right, I need to fucking uh, prove yeah. to him that I've. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to get somebody else in my position, so I think it could work both ways. But both I get, ways. I totally get what you're saying. Mate. It could affect some people. I just don't. I just don't like it. Some of the quality that, that's come in, but the centre half is the Swedish player Ian, mate. Eh? He's trying to he, get him. Well, Lagabelka and the other boy, Navrovski. They, they, they don't look like they're going to get back in. Mm. So he, he's he's green lighted. These guys coming in, and then they're not coming in. So part of that's on him. Again, my big thing is that I think I mentioned it on here before is the Bernardo thing completely baffles me, mate. Bernard, he plays Bernardo in every European game, but he can't get he can't get on in the oh, in the SPL. And that's crazy. I don't know what's um I don't know. I just sometimes somebody somebody describes. But if Bernardo's good enough to go and play away at Lazio, surely, surely he can play against St Johnston. Sometimes somebody described the Celtic's play as like a bit like a horseshoe. It just goes down, round, back, up, round, back. I think at times, but then there's also times they've been really good, mate, eh? Listen, I thought second half. I thought, that, I, thought that, 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 I thought that last thirty. Second half is really good just Very day. good, aye. Yeah, so do I. You just need to stop, try and stop with that performance. Even, uh, Celtic in the past, under Ange, used to blow teams away early doors and then they could coast through games. That's not happening now, so Celtic fans are probably getting a wee bit frustrated with that. Patience, instead of getting annoyed with it, just be patient that the goal will eventually come. Mm. But I also said as well, I know people think that they did blow teams away at the time, but there was a lot of times under Ange where they right scored the a, right at ah, the end. Ah, mate, ah, eh? I, know. Last Especially, I think usually after the European games it, ah. it would happen, ah, wouldn't ah, it? Ah. I think it's St Mirren and teams like that that would no struggle against but I remember, it was uh, last minute goals that won them games and going about to Ross County and I'm, I'm, I think he had like a was like a reserve team he had out that yeah night. that's right never Ralph's once, scored in the last minute didn't aye, he never once goes and talks about oh, no, like a quality or this or that I don't know I'm just getting a wee bit drained no you're right that's a good point a right, good point brilliant uh, right on to Rangers 2-0-1 uh, Hearts at Tynecastle 
I'm going to go to it. Are you, oh, mate? I'm going to go to it. Oh, up in the hospitality for the big game. No, no. Doesn't it go to Hearts v Kelly or Hearts v... No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Take Three somebody's man. ticket. Oh, he's taking no, no. the punter's oh, ticket over Christmas. I'm not taking any punter's oh. ticket. Oh. Horrible. Taking the yeah, ex-players, the ex, the ex, ex-players ticket. Me, Tom, obviously is a Rangers fan. So uh, he would say, game, Dad, man. would you like to take me to the Rangers game? So I said, I don't want to go up to Hearts and Men's. He that'd be good, so I'm going to take him up. You know, do the lounges or that? Uh, I think I'm going to do the lounges with him. Um, so we're going to go up on Wednesday. Scattered. That'd be a good game, be by the way. Because Rangers... Oh, a great game. Because Rangers, for me, I, the, the, I thought they were... I thought they were... They were a disgrace on Thursday. Comfortable enough yesterday. But on the comfortableness, I would say that I thought St Mirren were very poor yesterday. Well, they, I don't think it's hard to see on it. Did you watch the full game? I, I watched the full game. I didn't oh, right, watch, so I, watched so I watched right, it and I right, thought it was a minimum player. Were they open? I don't like know. Just, they just didn't have enough possession. They didn't have enough. Didn't create a lot of opportunities. Didn't they look like they were going to threaten Rangers at any point? And yet, see the big boy up front. Is it a young guy? Huh? He looked like he could have bullied the back boys all day long, but didn't get enough balls to him in good areas. Um, Which is strange because that's usually what they do well and it's sitting right. in and then hitting their forwards Rangers quite early. had a lot of comfortable possession um, and I felt at times, especially the, the, the second goal when Cantwell stayed one through to Seema, that a lot of time in the ball. Mm. That's You, you kind of give Rangers players time at Ibrox because they'll find their passes. Obviously the first goal, um, it seemed, seemed, a, seemed a fair play to Seema. I think he's just had a... The first caught, goal? The, the, is that the one that played just, on the side of Dessers? Aye. So see, see, on, see on the first goal. That's where the big man looks good. I he think that's probably, I, I think that's where Stephen Robbins will be a bit cheesed off because you're 44 minutes into the game, just see it to half time, mm. get in, regroup, yeah. we get back out with a different plan. You lose that goal, come in, it's a completely different conversation, but I think St. Mirren went there maybe to just to try and frustrate, but Rangers quality kind of showed through. Dessers, Dessers wasn't too bad actually. Yeah, yeah, Movement. Something else, him. No, oh, come special. on, you're too at it. No. He, he, he's too at it, mate. He's no. a full back playing up front. He, he, Can't be winning my door, but. He's a tight player, your point, he's going to come good. No. Yeah, I'm still going to go. He's born offside. He's um, never he, in the box, or a, but I agree, doing the sides and that, he looks effective, still going big to strong boy. I think I haven't no, he's not coming good, mate. I'm the sorry. The centre, the, the, the holding midfielder, what do you call him, um, for Derby? Um, Lawrence, good player, mate. He makes a difference to Rangers. Well, so what did you think of that? Because I wanted to ask you about that, because Lawrence dropped back one, didn't they? But he usually better. plays the 10. Lawrence dropped back one and Cantwell played the Cantwell 10. Cantwell far better in that position. Miles better. See in that hole, go and grab the ball and do what you want and try and uh, create stuff, slip passes through. That's where, because when you've got the protection of Lundstrom and, and uh, 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 I forgot his name again. Lawrence. Lawrence. That allows Cantwell to go and do what he, he wants to do, and then they, they put in Balogun yesterday. I think maybe because they thought the size of younger, yeah, maybe a bit of pace. pace might cause problems. But Balogun was solid. Um, but no, I thought I thought Rangers were decent. I, I was surprised that Danilo didn't start ahead of Dessers, but I've not been that impressed with either man. He wasn't meant to be good on the Thursday. No. no. See the Thursday though, like I think the manager's been really good since he came, but he needs to take a bit of credit for Thursday. Like you played, he, I thought they played well Did against Aberdeen. And then Thursday he plays Lammers. Well, that, I he thought plays it, Lammers in the whole why. And his Lammers decision to clear. take Cantwell off. Now I get if he was no doubt, but when you're going to make that, get put Cantwell and take Lammers off because Lammers for me is just no. Big no Lammers looks like Charlie McGrew playing five sides, mate. See when I see him playing, yeah. he actually looks like Charlie, doesn't he? Yeah, he's having a shocker, mate, and he starts doing step overs and all that. When he's having a shocker, <laughs> then the Rangers fans cheered that he was coming off, cheering that he's off. He's like him. <laughs> he's <laughs> cheering <laughs> his performance, <laughs> mate. He's at it. Even the one yesterday, he gets a ball. He's five yards for a goal, mate, and his right, right fit. foot, and he oh, fucking screws it. I know. He, he, like, the manager needs to take a wee bit of. For, I mean, why game. you would play him, mate? Because Rangers have played really well without him in the team, I think. Yeah, he must be unbelievable in training. Training him. Maybe, again, maybe we didn't get to see training, mate. Maybe I he was good for I saw a highlights reel of Lamas before his Rangers days, and the highlights reel was a fucking joke. Was it? Aye. But his numbers are brutal. Uh, his numbers are terrible. But then, stick anybody's highlight reel together, that can be a joke. Mm. But nah, Rangers, um, they're definitely going to have to strengthen that draw on Thursday night that was a major blow. Oh, am I right in saying if they won that game? They're through, they're they were through. through guaranteed uh-huh. through. And they could have rested players. Whereas now they're going to have to go to Betis and rely on results going the Aberdeen right way. Aberdeen playing fucking Jim Layton, aren't they? On Thursday. <laughs> they're Aberdeen, right. they're legends, go- can you hear that? Legends. <laughs> Aberdeen Jim legends. Aberdeen legends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, again, as I say, this is not a day with who, the, who, who he manages, but he, and he, I think he's been really good since he's came in, but there's one... If there's one country you kind of bullshit is Scottish people. See all this about the babies being born or not? Rap back, mate. Because we'll Scottish people just think you're talking shite, man. Did you hear that? His interview actually saying it. Uh-huh. What did he say? He was talking about like he just kept saying babies, but he was meaning like players are having babies. Players in the squad are having babies, so they're baby. tired than that. And 
Big seamer became a father. I know, but mate, we've all put punters have had babies every week and they got their work. Do you know what I mean? I was going to ask you, so did, when you played, did it affect you when you uh-huh. said Did it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, mate, but it, as, well, that's what I'm saying. It, it does, but it, it does. just didn't come out and use it as an excuse it, because aye. Scottish people just go, like, stop talking shite, mate. Do you know what I mean? Aye. But he's writing what he's saying, but just didn't say don't it. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Oh, mate, when, see, when Jude was born, Jude grit for fucking two years, mate. I swear to God, I remember playing for Dundee with about an hour sleep. Driving up to I'm driving up to Dundee for Glasgow because we stayed in Glasgow on a Friday night. He was up the whole fucking night screaming. I remember going to a game like that in the back of the motor, mate, and getting out and having to play a game. Do you hold that against him now? Hate him. Aye. Good. <laughs> I've seen Harry. Seen Harry. Two, two, Harry was 2011. I swear to God, man. See Especially if, when he's no yours as well, Kevin. The fact that you've got it. Probably two weeks. Take my half the guys at dinner. Two weeks. I was at Dillon. How, how do you get him back? I know, mate. How do you stop back? Like 30 days. Fair to do the seat, get him back because he fucking cried oh, for two weeks solid. Did he see it? I swear to God, man, I sent him back, Harry. He was the worst. Ah, oh, brutal, mate. Lynn had, Lynn had, Lynn, I don't know how Lynn oh, managed to do that. Oh. Mate, it does drive you mad. Like, see you and your missus as well, how much you argue oh. and she's fried, you're fried, you're doing shite in football. Her mum came up for two weeks to help out, right? And her mum's the most laid back woman you'll ever meet in your life. And even she fucking was like, I'm a wee bit dirty, you know. Fucking Harry. I remember we, we had Jude, we had Frankie in fucking uh, in Glasgow, so Decanio gave me a couple of days to go up. Mate, it's the mi- I don't know how he knew, mate. He must have been fucking phoning the hospital. The minute he was born, mate, my phone rang. And he's like, Congratulations on the kid. When are you back down? And I was like, Mate, gay's fucking two minutes with a kid. God's sake, so he's man. He's only doing that, congratulating you so you can ask nah, you. No, he, he did. He loved Genuine. family, not mate. He was right. like, Oh, what'd you call him, Frankie? Oh, beautiful, and all that. Tell Steph, well done. Like, he was good with family and stuff like that. But he's like, But we need you back down tomorrow. And I was like, Gaffer, I can't come back down tomorrow. Like, my missus is, she's, she I was like, A 24 hour labour, man. I'm fucking depressed. Like, I, I need a date of myself. <laughs> I'd done fuck I'm all of us. Peter He's had a win. He's done it. You know what I said? Like, I wanted to go that night. We were all going out. So <laughs> <laughs> we ended up out, getting the uh, plane down the next day. But again, he was great. Congratulations. Gave you, I think he gave us a present. Though, mate. So he was really good at that. But Frankie was. So we we bring Frankie down, mate. And honestly, it's just me and Steph and Swindon ourselves. We were. I was 23. She was 23, maybe. And uh, the first night, mate, I remember Frankie just great. And I was. I was like that. I. I, I Physically, I've not got a fucking clue what to do. What do you do? Mate, you ju- fuck no, you just walk up? about and he just screams and see, because it's there, mate. Screaming in your, oh my God. It's amazing. Need you help. It's like two in the morning, mate. You scream, you can't, it's not, you can phone yeah. your man and go, what, what do I do here? I know, it's the worst. Horrendous. No, that's... We had a guy, Paul Benson, mate. So he had a kid. Do you know, do you ever play against Paul, Paul Benson? He's always a lonely, but a hero, a guy, mate. He was older at the time. He had a kid, he was brilliant for a centre forward. And then he had a baby and he, he, he started being hopeless after that. And the canny had a meeting one day and he's like, Paul Benz. He's like, what is this? What, what is this, Paul Benson? And Benno's honest as fuck. He's like, Gavin, I had a kid. Fucking, I'm shattered. And the canny's like, okay. He's like, Monday to Wednesday, you, you see the baby? You see the baby, okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday? No. The wife, the wife takes care. And then he's like, ah, and Paul, when you're holding your baby, don't hold it this all day because you'll get stiff when you're holding your baby. <laughs> mate, and we're all looking at ourselves laughing and we're like, nah, he's taking the piss in it. He's like, lads, I'm fucking serious here, ah. Huh? When you're holding yeah. the baby, <laughs> squat. He's one boy squat. God, no way, mate. He was a maniac. And then I'm sure like, the baby came in after the game, you'd be in the players' lounge, he's like, ah, oh, this is the one that keeps making his dad shit on a Saturday. And you're like, ah, <laughs> he didn't. Obviously, he was joking, mate, but it is totally true, mate. See, when you've had a kid, it fucks you. Honestly, it's so tough. Right, then? The big man's right, uh, it just but it just uh, didn't say it, because uh, oh, you'll no. get caned for it. What about other kids? Any other kids while you were playing? When I had Max 2005, I had to fuck me, I had to rush to A&E. <laughs> what was this, man? <laughs> this could be genius. I was sitting with him, I remember it, in the house. Is this the boys? Aye. I've told you that. Years ago, so. Uh, I've not heard this. Stokes, he was at... Just came in. So I'm the Stokesy thing. I know where this guy's getting at. Oh, Stokesy came and signed for Sunderland later, but he also came when I was there on trial. So there's a done well to think of that. So just give him that, mate. Right, so you go and take your fucking research and get to <laughs> right. So anyway, I'm oh, sitting there with a jug, the old school. What way hurt you sitting with our jugs? The old school, the old school <laughs> way of heating the milk up, put it in a boiling hot jug. So what the wee man there? You had so, that. You had the bottle in between. Got that. Get it. Get it. 
And then <laughs> everything you touch. I went to get the bottle. I got the bottle out, get a shake, tested it, thought I hot enough, put it in there. So as I'm feeding them, right? He's wee fat. He's wee fit. Has clipped the jug. <laughs> fat. Right? <laughs> he's wee fat. Has clipped the jug. It's clipped and the jugs. And the, and the <laughs> And in slow motion, he's two footed at tits. I, I can see this jug falling. So I quickly put the wee man over there on the safe side of the couch while the boiling hot water has been oil on my boss. <laughs> right? And I went, Holy fuck! So I've got up. I was like, Oh! So I had to get the jeans, I had to put the fucking jeans right down, right? I said, Fuck it in hell, man! Down, get please take them off. I had to get them right down, so it was like, Oh my god! I was like, fuck. So I grabbed him, straight up what the stair. What were your boys at? You were oh, about your boys Straight up the stair, run a cold bath. I dropped out a cold bath. What happened holding, your hand? Holding him up like that in the cold bath. I was like, fucking hell. I could see it sizzling, right? <laughs> so I was like, oh, fuck, I need to get my phone. I had to go and get my phone. I got my phone, the phone Stephen Elliott lived next door to me. She was my strike partner for something. I said, Sleeve, just come in the fucking house. Come up the stair. I'm in the bath. Don't ask any questions. He says, what the fuck? What's, what's up, Kyle? I says, just take the wee man. You and Alexa look at the wee man. I need to go to A&E. He says, hey, what's happened? I says, look. And holy fuck. I swear to God, I'd, I think I'd lost about four inches. Scalded wow. it, honestly, yeah. right? And I was like, phone oh, was your sure. sack? Was it a whole lot. Is it still off it? Is it like... Oh, it's recovered now. I'm no, back. but is there any signs yet? No. So I phoned A&E, 999, says, look, I need an ambulance. Um, what have you done, mate? I bumped my boss. <laughs> 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 so... He says, oh, we can't, we can't get an ambulance to you. I said, how am I going to get this scene to you? He says, you need to drive to the hospital. I said, there's no fucking way I can drive to the hospital. So I jumped in the, the, uh, the car and I drove all the way to the, the Sunderland Royal Infirmary. Were right? you wearing trackies at the time? No, just had the pants on. <laughs> couldn't, have, couldn't have put anything on because it kept touching the... It was sticking to the, the fucking... Uh, and I was like, I just, so I had to pay that. And high next, heels. Next, high heels. <laughs> next <laughs> boxers. <laughs> next boxers and my trainers on. But it's still these next boxers that you're in now, isn't it? Straight into the E&E. &E, the woman says, how can I help you, son? So that's, that, that's how you can help me. Just, just went, oof. Like, when you get you straight to the burns unit. Fucking straight. Uh, uh, blue light into the burns unit in Newcastle. Oh and that's God. where you met him. Everyone beside you. <laughs> He was in bandaged up on the face. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you treat that? Just stick an ice pack on it? Oh mate, it got worse. Oh. I spent the night in the in the, the Burns unit in Newcastle and then I missed the game on the Saturday and then the week after we played West Ham and uh, Is that I, when you got into the leather skirts just to get your boys? West Ham. That's when you started doing leather skirts, wasn't it? Because it was a time when David Beckham was um <laughs> Golden balls. Golden balls. Oh, right. So the headline the paper was Golden Balls versus Scalding Balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ah, magic. Fuck. What about you, wee man? Any kids? <laughs> no, any wains at all. You any wains wains there's only wee kicking about possibility. There must be. I used to worry about back to Stranoa. Oh, it was only like six foot four <laughs> blue eyed kids. <laughs> <laughs> there must be, nah. There must be a wee slain kicking about somewhere. No hey. skills. Wee man's still using Johnny's, isn't he? <laughs> Take the hey, kids, Paul. I mean, I, I, I he, can't he's only got using the Johnny and still pulls it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, am, I can't, I can't, I can't look at myself. You, I think you'd be a good dad. Oh, oh, he'd be a great dad. He's great with the kids. Well, he is great with the kids, mate. I'm going nuts, mate. Was it you every Saturday night? Most nights now, I'm under my bed screaming. <laughs> He just lies under his bed and screams. Why? Oh mate, I don't know what I uh, what I sort of um, hang to get get your demons out. Just uh -huh. scream. What is it? What, you went, how many days did you go without sleeping? Four. Like zero sleep for zero four days. Sleep, that's the fastest. Usually I'll, I'll nod after it or just like. What do you think about them when you're no sleeping? Obviously you can't Avery, sleep. Avery. 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 This try to get him out. Did no, get him out just, mate, I don't know. You think about life, is that what No, it's just sore, mate. He's just tired, I don't know. Uh, right, can't, let's speak about Cantwell Thoughts. coming off. I'm getting taken off early. Don't mind it. You seen me there, what, three times last year? Mm-hmm. So, and who are, I'm not naming names or that, but... <clears throat> this is where people... Because I tell Mick and all this, and he goes, you're off your nut, mate, taking somebody off after 24 minutes. So, see, in this instance, if you're a manager, right, you've got a full-back playing for you. He's a den all right, but every time the winger on the other team gets the boy, he, he goes by your fullback and he's causing you problems, putting balls in. He's causing all. What what what, what are you doing? Well, what I you mean? Keep it. going. You're, it'll get better. Nah, you, you need to make the sub, mate. Make a lesson. You know there are people some, tell you there when games are fit more. I play some of the top teams at the under tens, and if they're not doing it, they're fucking half after five. <laughs> 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 
That's very hard. That's plenty. That's plenty. Uh, can't always the same as you, don't it? Like, f- five minutes into a game, but uh, you've got five minutes, and you're like, mate, the game's fucking two minutes in. I and I swear to me, I'm not making this up. He would call you over at, you'd look at the clock and there's like three minutes, he's like, didn't I like the, your body language at the start of this game? You've got five Who minutes to liven up. Who would Not just me, I like that. everyone, mate. I like that. You've got five minutes to liven up when you're coming off. Uh, fucking three minutes in the game. I'm, I know, but the I, mean, even I, I, I think you can tell. Uh-huh. That, now that tell. I'm a coach, I, I imagine I'm saying that the body yeah, language, he was massive tell. on body language. I think you can tell straight away, he, he, he's not right today. I think you can get for the other side because I agree. Like if you if you're when you're in a game, and you're seeing something's not working at all. Then that's why you've got a squad there to change it. But do you think it can kill a player? Shouldn't it? He should. I think he should put Cantwell in and took Lammers off. When he, he done that, he probably realises that, mate. That's why he's probably started can put Cantwell on. Do you think he had a yeah. dilemma before the game? I don't see why though, mate. That's one of the big things. I don't see what your dilemma is because it'd be much better if it was. If, if, if anything, yesterday's performance and result will help him because Cantwell was very good in the position that he probably likes playing in. So it'll give Clement things to think, well, I can't really be doing that again. But listen, what they've got, we've got three, four weeks before the January transfer window opens up. We've been just trying to shift a few, but how do you shift a few of these players that they fucking... Same as Hildy, are they going to have to shift a few players before they bring in anybody? Oh, certainly get a fucking van loaded. I think I... I think Rangers will... Um, just keep talking, this is Keir. It's public. And he's not there. You know who was in a band? Clubhouse party. Oh, he's a song then. Come on, Keir, go play. Can you sing, Keir? Come on, Keir, don't be shy, Keir. Come on, Keir, boy. Come on, Keir. What's the earliest you've ever been hooked? Half time, other than ever in the first half. What was the game? Um, do you know what? I think it was actually. I think it was. Yeah, that, cracking right now. What is it, a flat cap? Me flat Just pushed down. But do you know what, mate? See, I think it's. I can't remember the game side, but do you know what? I actually think. I was embarrassed with myself, but for the performance I put in. Oh. Do you know what I said? The drink kills a player, but I think it was mere as in actually people at the game, or you've got to speak to people, and you're thinking, fucking, I've been taking half a half time. That was mere on me for the performance. I didn't think of the manager doing it. What, what team was it, though? I think it was Malwell, mate. Was it? Sure, it was. This that. is where you need to give Cantwell credit because he could have flung up toys at the pram and maybe that's, 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 that's when we talk about mentality. We talk about kids and kids coming through the ranks in football. That's the mentality that some kids don't have. It's that disappointment and then coming back and saying, you know what, fuck you, I'll show you. Because mm. that's what he's basically went and done. And now Clement's thinking, well, I, I'm going to have to play him every week in that position because that's where he's most effective. Mm-hmm. Whereas what he could have done was he could have, took, he could, he could have took the hump <coughs> and said, no, I, I'm not, I can't. Because we've all played in the teams where they players sit on the bench and they'll go, look, okay, manager's a, a corker. That toxic environment. Uh, Aye. No, but uh, I was wondering. It's good for him. I Remember I took the Portsmouth game? That he never played me because I didn't, I didn't make a run right in training. He hooked somebody after, if people look back at it, I'm, I'm positive it's right. He hooked a striker after 24 minutes on that game. So he hooked me the day before because I didn't do a run properly. Yeah, James Collins, it was, remember he came up to Hibs? Aye, aye. Sure, it was Collo. Collo was a, me and Collo were good mates, mate. We got a proper laugh together. And he was a bit of a boy, Collo, like a scheme boy. So he was a bit rough and ready. And remember, remember 17 minutes on the clock, he's like that to the three, three, he's like three strikers going warm up, Collins just coming off. That ah, fuck calls the type will get raging, man. So board go board goes up mate twenty four minutes. James Collins off. Collins comes sit. He's fucking fuming, mate. Comes and sits next to me. The canio turns around and he goes like that. He, he used to do this. To, I've, he said he's, he said it to me before. He's like, he turns around and he goes like, "You need to see a psychiatrist." <laughs> turns around. <laughs> <laughs> watches, watches the rest of the game. Calls at me. <laughs> Fuck, she talking about. That's incredible. <laughs> you used to do that all the time. Oh, you said that to me all the time. Have you hooked you? you? Remember, I told you, you went, You're crazy. And I was like, ah. I know bad. He's like, No, no, bad. Very shit. Remember, he's like, But, but sm- you should smile. Why are you unhappy? Next week, you'll go back to the Simon Ferry seat. Remember, he used to call. Because when oh, I was, when he fought, I used to sit there, dug like that, raging, mate. He was a genius, mate. Imagine getting hooked after 24 minutes and your manager turned around and go, You need to see a psychiatrist. And just turned him back around. It's amazing the things you would commit with <laughs> as a manager. Eh? He called that. The fuck's he talking about? 20, 24, 24 minutes. 24 minutes. I think that's the, the earliest I've ever seen somebody sub Tommy Butler 24 minutes. Was that, who, who, who was that, Big Mike? Big Mike brought him off for 24. Kev, go and get warmed up. Tommy's seen a shocker. And he brought Tommy off. Tommy's head wasn't the right place, I don't think, at that time. But a good, it was an inspired substitution. Like, uh-huh. Mate, Wes was the best of all time, man. 
I know I've spoken with about it so many times. The goalie. Can you see? I've actually can't can't remember. I'm, I'm, I was in. I've never been in tears on the side of a pitch, mate. See, being on the bench, you would hate it, but you would love it, mate, because you could just watch him. Mate. I would. You wouldn't watch a minute of the game. You would just. He did that and yeah. he would punch his cell and all that. And uh, we are sitting. And Rafa was at the best was when Rafa was on the bench, because Rafa could speak Italian. Because he obviously can't have to be an Italian, mate. So I, I'd sit next to Rafa on the bench. I'd run to sit next to Rafa on the bench. <laughs> he's going off his nut, mate, and he's speaking Italian. And, and I'm like, what's he saying? He's like, mate, he's going to hook Wiz. And I was like, no way. It was a 17 year old goalie on the bench, mate, who was a nervous wreck. He, like, we bed us. He'd, he'd only been training the first team for about a week, mate. This is where he was brilliant for, mate, because he didn't like, Wiz was probably our best player. Didn't give a fuck if it was the best player, worst player, mate. He'd treat everybody the same. That's why I liked him. He's like, mate, he's hooking Wiz. Oh. And I was like, he can't hook Wes, man. We're playing Preston, mate, at Deepdale, big game. We were kind of playoffs, they were playoffs. Turns around, he's at Bedwell, go and warm up. He bed does a shite in his hell, running, warming up. And uh, he played before? He's going off, he's not an Italian, mate. And I was like, what's he saying? He's like, he's basically saying that if it wasn't for him, Wes would never be a professional football player. <laughs> he's going on a mad rant now about like how he's basically made Wes, he was nothing. This is why the game's going on, mate. He's speaking to the goalie coach. He's like, ah, he was playing for Fulham or Crystal Palace reserves or something, and now I've brought him here. Now look at him, this is how he pays me. Fuck. Mate, board goes up. To, I think again, that was about 25, 26 minutes, mate. What did Wes And see, just watching the rest of it you? unfold, mate. I, I remember sitting there, like, disbelief, mate. Like, is this actually fucking happening? Booted the water bottles and, and the can was like that elastic wrist he's got. <laughs> telling him to get in. Comes back to the, the dugout again, he's speaking to the goalie coach. And I went, what did he say? He went, He's just told the goalie coach to tell Wes he better go and get a train back to Swindon now because if he comes in at half time he's going to fucking kill him. Did he, did he go? Wes went and sat on the bus. <clears throat> did he? Told it before but he hit, the canny did it. I didn't think the canny knew Wes was on the bus. So Wes is sitting up the back of the bus like that and then the canny was interviews playing on Sky Sports. League One! <laughs> We're not talking about Czech. League One, Wes. Wow. And we are pissing ourselves laughing. Mate. So he wasn't in the dressing at half time? No, he would have killed him. He, he just got ready the, the bus. Him. But see, after the game, Wes was, was, was on the bus, but the candidate knows, but see, in the dressing room, one of the worst I've seen hampers were going off walls, booting them. This is your shit mentality, you know, like, all you how you act, same as Wes, Wes, Wes acts, you know, like, fucking wild, mate. <clears throat> Fuck's sake, man. Beat 3 1, Wes subbed after 26 minutes. Oh, was you having a shocker? We played Stoke on the Thurs on the Wednesday night and beat them, that was the one he went like that. Has why are you worried? I can see in your face you're worried because they're Premier League. He's like, they're Premier League with a Premier League manager. You're a League One team with a Champions League manager. <laughs> so it evens itself out. Remember I told you that? They went and beat Stoke 4-3, but Wes had a bit of a shocker in that game, but he never mentioned it. <clears throat> and then Wes started the game. He kicks the ball out to the Preston player. He runs in and scores. But I think the fact, what he was more annoyed about, he hated it. Blame another, bl Wes was then oh, blamed somebody yeah, else. Yeah, He's like, now nah, so taking him off. And he, he was ruthless, mate. How did he be a young boy, do? <laughs> he's actually done alright, he's done alright mate, but we got beat 4-1 I think it was. It's it's a a I don't I do it, mate. Uh, but again, that's where he was brilliant mate, because he, he genuinely knew that we would get beat with that goalie going in goals, but he just wanted to, to prove, prove a point to the players mate. Eh? Do you think that's where you, you've maybe, you, you've got that, taking maybe players I think so there. mate. Uh, I yeah, think I think players should be sensitive about it mate, someone's not going right, I need to change it. I would like to think that when you take somebody off it after that early, they know themselves. I sometimes it's not even just them, do you know what I mean, Kev? Sometimes, right. you, as you say, you maybe see someone tactical oh, that you need, aye. you get a, aye. Aye. Two aye. a done striker on. Two, two shows done two it. Mourinho used to do it all the time, man. Mourinho make, no, make three subs once in the first half or half time or something. Half time, but I, I, wouldn't, really I wouldn't take it too personal. I got hooked at half time, third game into my Swindon, and Danny Wilson said in front of everybody, you're going to need to change how you play. And Gordon Greer, I've what? said it before, came up just after the game, best bit of advice ever, because I, I was like, all right, I need to fucking stop trying to maybe pass it as much. Gordon was like, fucking done a change, man. What did he say you need to change as in the way you're, you need to you're, you're going to need to change how you played down here? Because you're passing it like... Try to play too much, that, uh, yeah. and no, maybe turning it and went no in it, and Gordon was like, fuck that. He says, how you played is how you what's got to, you, to the know. stage, you're going to fail, fail being you. But brutal, that would be the manager, isn't it? But then Gordon Gray was like, but what, you know what you need to do? It's be even more braver. Because see if you're not going to win second balls and that, and you need to go and keep the ball and you need to go and get it all the time, eh? Right. But best bit of advice I've Because I think, I, I could be wrong again, I'm sure the next game we played at home against Mill and I got man of the match. Oh, what did you? So again, Danny Wilson, fair play, because he could have dropped me after taking us off at half time, but played as the next ah, week. He was right, a good guy, Danny Great guy. Good guy. I loved when somebody got hooked and you could tell they were raging, man. Ah. <laughs> but I went, it's the best, isn't it? On the bench is amazing, what a buzz you get on it. Ever say like, you ever sat on the bench and somebody got hooked early and they were raging? Paddy was always 60 minutes, wasn't he? Uh, he Paddy was always raging, mate. 
can't think of did Lenny I don't think Lenny did it, did he? Did you know the early subs now? I don't think so. Remember Martin O'Neill took put beats on and took them off again. Remember that? Oh, that's so the one. That that I was, that was the watching the games. One was against Rangers, one was against Barcelona, mate. Big Beats was distraught How? after a game. See, I like won both games, I'm sure. But I remember be- and fair play to Martin O'Neill, I, I remember him going up and sitting with Beats and putting his arm around him. But I, I, again, no, like... That is the worst of your subdor and subda. No, I know, and, and it, it looks terrible, but see see if you do make a sum go, fuck, no, that's no, it's no working, or... If you want to get the result, then you might think I need to get it, but uh, it's tough, that, isn't it? Oh, sub, sub. Sub, 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 sub. I think, I think that might have happened to me once. Did it? Aye. <laughs> fucking don't know what makes me think that. The later in my career. That's the worst thing. That's oh, that's brutal, isn't it? Uh, right, last few bit lads. Hibs beat Aberdeen 2 0. It looked like an absolute great game of football, didn't it? Brilliant. I've never, seen it. Job, I've never seen it, but uh, a very, very good result for Hibs, by the way. Because I thought Aberdeen were better last week. Yeah, Aberdeen, they're not picking any points. No. I know they picked one up but, sorry, last week, but nobody <coughs> wins at all, are they? No. But I think they're coming, mate. Because I, I, I yeah, think they could easily have won that well. game. Europe's finished now. Yeah. I think they could have won that game against Hibs. I mean, at 1-0 Hibs, Aberdeen have two or three great chances in Miofsky, which Aye. he usually takes, mate. Eh? But I, that's where Hibs have done well. I think they've been at their actual best as in terms of playing because Dundee, they weren't the great to beat mm-hmm. Dundee. Weren't the great to get, well, no, no great, but they're kind of grinding Aberdeen results the game, out, aren't grinding they? Results out, uh, uh, they're grinding results out without being overly consistent. It's like they maybe draw or lose, then win a couple, but they now need to kind of go on a run, but they've got Celtic through the week, but they'll need to. Uh, they're still going to be two up. But he's not, he's not the type that'll fear. I don't think no, he's the type that'll fear go going to Celtic, like mate. He'll go to Parkhead and set them up and. Yeah. Uh, play, play it for the back and this is what I like about him as well mate he changes boy- I think he changes Boyle's position based on opposition right, so I think he knew Aberdeen were going to play a high line against him and he put Boyle up front first goal comes for Marshall putting the Boyle right. boy yep. the, the top to Boyle that's poor defending that first goal but so he tweaks it here and there doesn't he he, he does make wee tweaks here and there because the, the, the game at Easter Road for Celtic the, the first half where they were kept they did keep playing but a few times they could have Celtic like actually won the ball up high and could have mm. scored for aye, it. Aye. I wonder if he'll dare this. Well, see, that's a great point you make because see, yesterday, uh, again, I want you only get to see highlights. One highlight shows them trying to play out. Aberdeen take the ball off him and nearly should probably score. And then the next highlight, they continue to do it. Marshall plays through to somebody. Did I directly score their second goal for it? But the corner comes for them playing, out playing for the it for the back. So it just showed mistakes are going to get made. But oh, you just need to stick with do it. Do you mate, think, uh, think he's the type of guy, Monty, that watching how St. Johnson set up yesterday in that first half? I think he could maybe think going I think he'll that. maybe go with the two bigger ones up front so, there. No. See what Celtic like done with the two up Say direct. Top. He did, I see, because see when they played Rangers, they were, they were so open and then they played Celtic right after yep. and they sort of did, they did drop half a wee I bit. Did I. Um, and when they're leaving it, oh, they, they gap. So I think they will be, I don't think they'll be gung-ho no. for Celtic. But Might I suit Celtic if they come out a wee bit. Might oh, sorry, I thought you said against, against Celtic, will they go two bigger ones up? No, uh. I mean, I mean, well, I mean, against Celtic, will Hibs maybe revert back to maybe sitting in a wee bit I don't think so mate no. will they go with, with, with the Jack no play out aye for Celtic I think no it's, I mean I, I do love it but it's just Celtic have made oh, the I players think, have made, made was playing that last game so made and Kiel go that I, bit, I, I said brilliant. it last week mate but when you watch Celtic like, high press against Lazio they never take the ball for Lazio aye they, they don't actually go and be a guy I think Celtic lack like, like physicality big time eh well that showed, that, that showed against Lazio in terms of like balls going up and setting balls and they weren't winning setting balls but for me I don't know. I think I think if you in, in, in any team that decides to play, if you're confident enough with it and trust, I can't people, even see if he does it. Y- y- they, they've got players to do it. Like John Yule and Dylan Levitt can take the ball. It's capable under pressure. Mm-hmm. Deal it. Capable. Definitely. Interesting. But Hibs, no. I like to say they're on a good run of form. Um, I just Hib, uh, Hibs. We all think we all champion Derby, didn't they? Be up there, but they're let like you say third, them, But there's Hearts third. Hub, Hibs, Sitmarin, Hibs, Kamarnik. What did they, what did they get beat 1-0 by Hearts? Hearts. Oh. They get Nesmith because uh, credit because I think they're playing the best football in the world I think he didn't mean that himself I think I've seen a few things on Twitter Hearts fans saying that but it's a bit getting wins isn't it? He's, he's, he's found I think he does now he, he, he does start with uh, uh, Boys and Shackland oh, Obviously he listens to the Boys cast said it every week and he's done that oh. and I, I think he's set with it he, he's new knows he's well, he's certainly need to anyway. Boyce and Shankland are good together up front. Um, Although the Kelly goalie, what is he? I mean, no, he, no, even, no, even the Kelly goalie, I just think that there's a lot happened before that. But he mean, Shankland kicks the body's hands. I know, I know, I, it's poor for the goalie, but there's a lot happens before that. I should never 
I think. What did you make of the his challenge on Chantland? Did you see it? Aye, but uh, I, for me, was it was offside. For me, it's offside. So if they would fucking stop it this stupid rule of waiting, just put the flag up and then the keeper doesn't need to come out. Yeah. That's the thing. So debating whether it's a red card or a yellow card, it's irrelevant. It should be a fa- it should be a flag up, free kick. Because it's so clear that one, isn't it? Aye. Uh-huh. If, if you're in clear. doubt, then keep your flag down. But it was about two, that, two, aye, two yards. Two yards and the one I wanted to ask you as well was Peyton's for Motherwell. It's not a fucking red card. Never. No. He's even tried to pull his leg away. He's going to be able to put his leg. But see, anyone that's played in that middle of the pitch when the ball oh. bounces, you're just going to try and Aye. win the ball, mate. Eh? Vars having a... Oh, that's fucking rubbish. The referee's two yards for it. He sees it as a booking. No, so, what so is the need for somebody to say, I'm going to check, check it? That. No. He's seen it in real time, five yards away for it, two yards away for it. Why need to go and check a screen and slow it down? No, that's, that's the ones I, I, I don't get. That ref's right beside it. Just stick with your decision. Oh, no, nah, they, they've made a good decision. It was a yellow card, and that was it. Like it, it wasn't. A, I don't think it was a dangerous tackle to to, to make it in more than a yellow card. But a yellow card was the right result. But to go to the monitor and bring it all the way back and send the boy half, it just. It's actually a good point then from another one. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, a really after good going point. Three to done. Nah, in ten men. Dundee look good again, mate. See, see that boy. Well, yeah. See that boy. That that uh, Beck. Beck. Beck fullback, mate. He could be the best left back in the league. Mate, I swear to God. I'm telling you, mate. The world, yeah. No, I'm telling you right now, he, he is he's the best left back in the league. I'm t- he, he's, he's never see him get roasted. You never see... Wait, he what, what, what about his goal? I know. What about his feet? What about his I know. It, unbelievable. No, I, mean, I, I think he's... Uh, I tell you what, Liverpool, they always be coming over for Liverpool and with Robertson being injured, mate, I'd be fucking... He's some of the is hopeless. Off. Mate, that boy's that boy. Like, listen, it's all right saying, oh, well, he's only playing up in Scottish football, but he's still going to get the unperform. He's not playing in the league. Dr. Mel in Scottish football went down there. Ah, he's been unbelievable. Oh, I think he's very, very good. Yeah. Um, I like you say, great point for Monmouth. Oh, it it just shows, it does, you can tell the players are still behind Kettlewell massively now. Oh, 100% especially even the, the week before when they play against Celtic and they, they, they defend very well the whole game and then Celtic get that late goal the run they were on you, you could go fucking hell but they don't they can back get score for the corner get get on a point there and then again uh, the weekend they get that but they, just back, defensively they need to get wins though don't they mm. it's just defensively a wee bit I think I think you can get down the sides of them quite easily uh-huh. Big McGabby's a bit of a ball they're, 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 they're all set up Sorry, well uh, you can see they're all set up well jobs. but they're set up well and they look set up well but they're not actually doing anything like they're not engaging me yeah. I think I, th- I don't know I, I, I just always think because I think going forward what would the boys go with the first goal for? I could be brown I could be blue I could be brown let's go you did Mika great finish gotta be me gotta be me gotta be me gotta be me gotta who Which finishes us? Hearts. Hearts. What's your best Mika song? I don't uh, play Mika. Like that one? No, hey. What's yours? Hey. You don't know any, I can tell. Hey, girl, you, hey big girl, you are beautiful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're yes, not saying that, that Can you see me read this and that? Oh, can I? Can I uh, let me see. Have you ever sang that, MD Kev? Somebody sang it down. By two. There's a whole lot of people. There's a whole lot of Keep two. going. Keep going, that's good. That's I good. Like big ones, text so I don't know the Mika's a fucking great album. Is it? Oh, mate. Mika is big Mika fan? Aye. Big Mika. Mika. That's Mika. really good. What do you do when you're tunes. listening to that? Fucking just get. I'm, I know the horse, it? No, Mika. Put that when you're in the horse, sir. I'm trying to. Have you bought a red wine on Friday? I can't remember the name, but it wasn't a very good one. I've seen a great film out of the Saltburn. Saltburn. We Barry Keel goes with his cock at the end. Brilliant, mate. Good film. Cock. Nah, good, great film. Good cock. Great Saltburn. film. Saltburn. We What's watched it. I remember Dylan McGee was sitting behind us. He's, he's missing his cracker. What's it in, in the cinema? Uh, it's on at the cinema. Saltburn. I'm going to go and see Napoleon as well. Ah, uh, he meant to be a wee fucking evil bastard, him. <laughs> Napoleon. <laughs> Seriously. Sparky and Phoenix, isn't he? He's good. He's a good. He's a good method actor, isn't he? He's the best, mate. He, but he's tortured in the brain. Isn't he? Yeah, he doesn't sleep for four days. No, he screams under the bed. That's what it came from, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right, what, are you, what are you playing a suit with? I can't find my tuner, mate. This, these two chords are bum notes. How yeah. come? The, how come it's untuned itself? It See, ginger does. fingers, isn't it? Every time he plays with the ginger fingers, the, the guitar untunes. Some fucking dust on it, by the way. Sing then, can That's good. You singing? Yeah. Go. Take it away. 
Punched outside in the pouring rain Trying to make myself a sin Then I float to you, my darling If the evening on my Why do you always whisper when you go to sing? My dad always done that way Project, go project it It's because of you It's a secret, isn't it? of travel Against me then, nonetheless Darling, I'll bathe your skin I even want Give I've me got, some candy I've got a top singer coming <laughs> Top singer? Uh, Stop talking on. shite man, who is it? That's good mate Think so? Yeah, that's really good, that's that fucking spot on I bet they, they, I need to Oh, get... I'll be there waiting for you Oh, and I'll be I want a version for you, a big text no, in there me, Just give me one song Kev to play I, and you sing I, it I, I don't know any words You're a good, That's a good voice I don't know any words to any You must know anyway, it's a champion supernova Get Lennon, Lynn can sing Lynn's a singer I need to get Lennon to sing Right, go on Kev, Never take it out no. Sing a suit Kev, go on I can't sing I'd love to do like a music podcast Travelling or not Why do you want to have an except for football? <laughs> He made up a Scotland song yet for the. What is your favourite song? Mika? Favourite, favourite song? Probably. Oh, fuck. I would say. You know what? I like, I like Otis Red and Sit on a Dot of the Day. Oh, great song. Oh, that's oh, a cracking Stand tune. by me, Benny King. Go, give a wee bit of that then. Ah, you've got a voice for that. One of the any two. Sitting in the dock of the bay, that's the, you, right, I'm sure I can tell you've got that. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting in the evening sun, watching the ships roll in, then I'll watch them roll away again. <laughs> Keep going. Nah, I can't do it. Ah. <laughs> oh. I fucking wish I could sing, it's the only thing I wish I could do. It's the only thing you wish you could do? I would love to sing. That is brilliant. He's a Sean Connery accent before. No, I can't do Sean Connery. Derek did Sean Connery all day. He was fucking incredible. Did you see him do that? He was convinced Sean Connery was German. He did, kid. Boom. Done. Let's go. Cool.